All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show how you can write to the Notion API in just five minutes. So in the previous video, we looked at authentication. As you can see here, we have our authentication code that we just finished from the previous video. So let's go ahead and get started. I've started our five minute timer, so let's go ahead and dive in here. So writing with Notion is fairly simple. Let's hop over to the documentation. We'll go to API reference, and then the command we're looking for is the append block children. So with the append block children, basically you give it a block ID of the parent that you want to write to. In this case, that's gonna be our page. And then you want the children that you're going to write. So let's go ahead and look at what the block objects actually look like. So if we wanted to, for instance, write a header two, we would specify this object. Thankfully, we have a wrapper library called the Notion Client. Definitely check that out. Again, all that's detailed in the first off video. So we're gonna jump in here and get started. We're gonna create a function called uh, write text, and that's gonna take a client, a page ID, we're gonna take text, and then what we're gonna do is call the client library, and we're gonna say blocks.children.append. So we're appending several children, and what we're gonna do here is specify the block ID, which is gonna be our page. In Notion, uh, pages are represented also as blocks, so the page ID is a valid block ID, and then we're gonna specify children, just like in the API documentation. So, um, so you know, you can see here we're passing in a list, you can pass in multiple of these items, but what we're gonna do here is just pass in a single item and we're gonna call it, yep, block object. We're gonna pass in type paragraph, perfect. And then in our paragraph chunk, um, what we're gonna do is pass in, um, let's see what that uh, format is. So it's rich text and then um, some additional content here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, so let's set up these key value pairs correctly. So it's rich text and then it opens up another object which then specifies the type and the actual text, in which case we can actually specify our content. So there's that. Uh, that's gonna be our first kind of right text function and that should append content to our page. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We'll remove our previous functionality from the previous video and we'll write, write text. And let's go ahead and just do a hello world. So let's go ahead, hop in the terminal and do this, running Python 3 on main. Let's check that out. And as you can see, we now have a hello world block. So this is pretty cool, um, but this isn't all we can do, right? If we could just append plain old uh, paragraph text, it'd be super boring. So let's go ahead and add, um, let's go ahead and try a heading one. And we'll specify that here and here. This is where you need to update the type of block that you're writing. And if we go ahead and run this, you can see that, bam, we get a, uh, a header one um, block content type written into Notion right from our code. So that is pretty cool, uh, but we can do a bit better here. Um, you know, this isn't uh, very dynamic. We have to come in here and change this every single time. So let's go ahead and pass in a type parameter. And instead of just specifying that here, we'll update these items and now we can add let's say um let's say we want to do a call out type now we can write that there and just to show you guys like these block types are coming right from the notion docs right so you know we just did the paragraph which has the type paragraph we just did heading one which has heading underscore one and now we're going to do the call out which has type call out so you can just look through this page here it's under block objects uh, let's go ahead and run our script now. And as you can see, bam, now we have a call out. So that's really cool, fast way to write content. And let's go ahead and try one more. Let's try the to do, I believe it's to underscore do. And let's run it one more time. Awesome. So just like that guys, in under five minutes, this is how you write to the Notion API using a simple client library and authentication. You know, it's as simple as that. There are additional customizations you can make here, but that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video where we learn how to read from the Notion API. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.